Welcome, ladies and gents, to not Nomad, but Snowmad. Yeah, that's right, because there's snow on the map, and I'm creative. Uh, we got a 1v1 here between two excellent players. What's kind of funny is I wanted to switch it up, and I was thinking, okay, the top players, they're going to be playing Arabia. Not sure if I want to cast Arabia. So we did a poll, and we voted for what map people wanted to see, and the people voted for Nomad. And I looked then for the highest ranked Nomad game that's happening. And guess what? That's actually the highest ranked game that's happening in general on all maps because the Max probably banned Arabia and wanted his Nomad. Uh, for those that don't know Max, Max is a he's a classic pro. Uh, he's played on and off over the last couple years. But uh, man, he's been such a good player in our scene uh, in team games for Suomi or Finland. Um, and also had a year or two there with some great runs in the past. 2019-2020. Uh, Hidden Cup 2 finalist. Uh, just a great player. And very creative. Okay? Uh, he's playing as the Georgians here. And the Georgians... Uh, they're an interesting civilization because they were just introduced to the game. And I feel like they could be really strong here. Um, this is the first time I've seen the new and improved Georgians on Nomad. The TC completes here for Max a bit later than Sebastian. And when that TC completes... The mule cart pops out. You you start with a mule cart with the Georgians. You can collect wood. You can collect stone, gold, and also hunt with the mule cart. And seeing as the TC is already on the wood line, you might not need this for wood. So you could see the mule cart sit here, for example, and you could take the deer and the gold. You can also scout with the mule cart, and the mule cart just misses the fact that the opponent is docked here. Ooh! Well, if Max actually notices that, that's a pretty big deal. We'll see if Max does anything about that. Uh, Sebastian's over here. Sebastian's playing as the Mayans. The Mayans get uh, start with an extra villager. So that's nice. And also Sebastian had the TC up a bit faster. So in your ideal Nomad start, you build your TC and you also build the dock. The dock we established for Sebastian pretty close by to the opponent. And then Max's dock is over here towards the east. And he also has docked pretty close to his opponent. So it's kind of funny how that works. T90, do you prefer Nomad or African Clearing? Definitely Nomad. African Clearing isn't a true Nomad map, in my opinion, because, well, it's not true to the spirit of Nomad in that, like, it's not as diverse, right? African Clearing is just a different map entirely. But I like the water aspect on uh, Nomad, because the water aspect plays a really fun role. So TC spot is a dream for Sebastian here. You've got Hunt underneath the TC, which he's taking. He's got wood around. He's got gold underneath the TC. The barriers are close. Obviously, we'll need to see Sebastian look for boars, but I think his start has looked more than comfortable so far. Noticing there's not a lot of stone close by here for the max. He is stoneless, which could be an issue for him if he wants to go for Manaspa. Here is where the stone is. But yeah, the mule cart, you cannot collect resources with. Like, you can't find sheep. Or, uh, you know, change sheep to your team with the mule cart. But you can still get information. Which is what Max has chose to use this for. So, that's really solid. Ooh! Max is going to shoot this first. And Sebastian should now know that his opponent is in this direction. Because you don't start with the scout here on Nomad. So, you're not going to have information otherwise. And there's no mule cart for him. Watch this from Max. Little block. There you go. Nice work. Yeah, most people watching probably wouldn't bring in this board without Loom. Max says, who needs it? Beautiful play. Uh, someone says, is it fine to use a vill to explore your surroundings on Nomad if you don't find any sheep at the start? Absolutely. I think pros are a little bit resistant to that idea. Um, you, you won't see it from pros for that reason, but also because pros usually do find enough to start with. But yeah, if you're if you're really in a bad spot, sending a villa around the scout is necessary on Nomad. I think you should definitely do it. Usually, there's going to be enough food income from your fish, uh, from players' builds at a high level, where they don't need to do it. But you're going to see some of the best Nomad players, like Max, like Yo. Uh, they're they're going to do that pretty frequently. And sometimes it's worth it to find an extra boar, a couple extra sheep, 
It's a really big deal. I did that once during a Nomad start and got roasted for it. Were you roasted for it by someone who knew what they were talking about? And please, please don't say uh, it was me. <laughs> there is a there is a very small chance that I subtly roasted you uh, because I tend to do that at times, but uh, don't think I would do that. It was probably just one of your buddies. Nice job there from Sebastian. Sebastian has not clicked up to the next stage yet. Sebastian is walling. And the Max has clicked up already. And this is because Max knew where his opponent's dock was. So he's going to go up. And he's going to build this dock. And he's going to try and focus down his opponent's fishing ships. A really good play on Nomad. But the fishing ships aren't necessarily everything. Uh, Theo, thank you very much for the seven months. Theo said boop. Boop in chat if you appreciate Theo. Wow, double dock here. So it's going to be three docks in total. This dock is also very, um, very, very tetris -y. <laughs> I don't actually like it. I, I prefer the docks be more spread out if you fish later on, but the goal is to kill the opponent's fish, so it could accomplish that. Oh, wow. Sebastian's going to go fast castle plumes. Let's go, baby. This could be really strong. This wall is enough to block off any aggression that might come in. Obviously, aggression can go elsewhere, but still. And Sebastian knows at this point, because his fishing ships were there, he knows his opponent's going to kill his fish. So he wants to... Usually what's going to happen here is Max is going to kill the fish, and then Max is going to be thinking, oh no, my opponent's going fast castle. I need to stop that, and I need to go aggressive on land. So that's, what, that's the idea of the walling. But there should be no need for much navy here from Max. Max should kill these fish, no problem. It's up to him now to recognize he's going to kill these fish and add more fishing ships of his own. That's the way to get an advantage here. But if I were to prefer, if I were to pick a position right now to suddenly go in and control, I would definitely choose Sebastian's. I think Sebastian's played this perfectly. Like he brought in so many boars. He's had so much hunt around. The mill and the berries is there. The deers even know. This is a dream scenario. Even here, like, didn't build a mining camp on gold, right? Well, because he knew that he could finish that real quick and get enough on gold real quick to get the gold he needs. Of course, his opponent's going to have fishing ships, but you know, not. it's only going to be four fishing ships. And Sebastian, actually, did he run with his fish, or what's the deal here? Did drop off the food there. Seems like his other fishing ships, he might actually just hide in the corner. And yeah, this one's running away as well, so... Uh, at the very least, if you scout where your opponent's other dock is, it could be really nice. Maybe you come back on the water later, then his fishing ships can help you. But it does seem like maybe he is going to run home to try and drop off the food. Max is going for archers. Max has 100 food in the bank right now. I think Nomad might be a better... Okay, tell me if you agree or disagree on this statement. Nomad might be a better Fast Castle unique unit uh, map than Arena is. I'm thinking about my words. I think that's a true statement. Because your opponent is going to be more exposed. And you have the potential for a fish boom. Which could help you get to Fast Castle. You guys disagree with that statement? At least at a pro level, right? At a pro level, it feels very smooth on Nomad. If you can get a good start like this, there's not as much people can do against you. Again, it's a little bold of a statement, but that's my that's my general feeling on it. I think both maps are obviously insane for a Fast Castle unique unit. Plumed Archers could be really strong here. Nice job from Sebastian to just run out here, drop some walls. Power now from Max. Max feeling desperate. Max with six fishing ships. And Sebastian realizes that the archers don't really have enough firepower yet. And he just needs to get a little bit more time from these walls. And hopefully not lose any villagers. Now the castle would make sense to drop it like here. So that's what he's going to be planning on. He's got quite a bit on stone. He'll be in castle age soon. Adding even more walls now. Nice pressure from the max. 
But I think these walls should be able to go down. This area is a little risky. We should just partially build a couple of these. Units have to run out of the tower and run through. And yeah, by the time Max gets there, there's going to be more walls behind. So good from Sebastian. I end up losing this blacksmith. That could actually be annoying. Look at the patience from Sebastian and his ability to save the Vils last second. Really nice. And now he needs a castle and he could drop the castle right next to all this. He's like, sup, bro? You want to come in? Sure. Just give me a second. I'll be ready in a second. You can come right in. I, I would not have placed that castle that close to the archers. I would have placed that at least a tile further back. But he recognizes that things are going to be fine. Castle's going to go up. And then he could take food with the sheep and the deer and the berries. And he can make plumed archers. And Max isn't even up yet. Okay. If I were Max, I would be super dead. Max is making a transport ship? Hype? Where is he even making it? He's making it over here. Hmm. <laughs> it would be wild if Max... No way, dude. He's got five archers. He's going to transport archers into the eco from Sebastian, where Sebastian's not expecting it. Mr. Kirby says, this is one of the things I find so frustrating about Nomad. You win water and lose everything else. Like, water doesn't even matter. No, water does matter, but you need a tricky balance to it. I think what makes this tricky for Max is that his opponent has a really good unique unit from the castle, right? If his opponent wasn't dropping a castle and it was trying to go for, like, knights, for example, you can't go for knights because you don't have the food eco if you're Sebastian. But if you have, a, like, Berbers... If you have Mayans, if you have Vietnamese, if you have Mongols, if you have a sieve with a ranged unique unit that only costs wood and only costs gold, then you're in a good spot. Guys, if Max is able to kill a couple Vils with these archers, the plumes haven't killed him. He's stonewalled and protected himself perfectly. He will have a really nice economy. Now, he doesn't have access to stone, which really hurts. But I'm not ruling out a victory for him here just yet. But yeah, good unique unit civilizations, fast castling into a castle is just so strong. Which is why I said what I said, Kirby, about how I think it actually could be better to have a... I think this might be a better unique unit map than Arena. Look at Max! Like, no one gets value from these archers in this position. But Max is going to get value. Beautiful play. He's going to kill one. He's going to kill two... Ah! No fletching, by the way. He's going to kill one. I think he's distracted because the plumes busted through with petards. And so his archers go down. Nice reaction there from Sebastian, honestly. And here comes another petard. Oh, man. Sebastian's going to run right through if he can. Petard! He runs through. Plumed archers are in. Past the TC. Oh, God. Oh, no. I think they, they all survive if they run past the TC as well. Uh-oh. Okay, well... Now you are house walling out a range unit. And these things have Bodkin Arrow, so they are incredibly strong compared to any archers, and Max is in trouble. So yeah, Max has eight fishing ships, but now he's off of gold. Such a sick game from Sebastian. He's so good. But I also think this is just the perfect build. This is everything about this was so clean from Sebastian. Unbelievable. Like. He, look, he's got his farms. The second TC timing is great. He petarded or at the perfect time. Sebastian's just playing Amazing Age of Empires these days, man. And here against someone like Max on Nomad, like, making it look far too easy. What's up, Lecker? Welcome. Oh, Elo is on screen, which I think was the joke you were making. Plumes run through. Sebastian aims for another villager kill. Won't get it. And now Sebastian's thinking, well, at least my eco's in a good spot. Sure, I might not have the fishing ships, but I have two town centers and I'm producing plumed archers. So yeah, I think like Max's map generation was also really bad compared to Sebastian. That is the aspect of Nomad that you just have to accept. Because he has no access to stone, 
And the only gold behind all these walls is this one. Sebastian's TC was on a gold. Like I said, it was the perfect TC. And you can't really make a ton of strategic decisions on where you drop your TC at the start. It's like, you look for certain things and you place it, but you don't really know what else is out there until after the TCs go up. Yeah, so Max thinking, my only way back then is to utilize the water, which I won early on. He'll be adding fish. He's redocked all over to get food income that way. But you do need an answer to the plumes. And for now, it feels like that answer is apparently the siege. Yo, Ninja Worm, Dan Ak, what's up? Nice to see you, dude. You guys know when I uh, have told you stories about playing Counter-Strike in the computer lab at high school and just being a pretty crappy student? Well, Ninja Worm Dan Ak is the reason behind that. <laughs> He's the one who cracked the code. <laughs> Lunch break, lol, nice. Nice to see you, man. Yeah, so Stonewall's here from Sebastian. And I imagine Imperial Age is going to come in at some point for him. And Plumed Archers might be his long term. I could see Plumed Archers and Halbs being really good against the Georgians because the Georgians typically make Cav. But Sebastian just wants to ensure that Max doesn't go this way. This is really smart. So now he knows Max is going to have to go this way. He also has scouted pretty much everything. Look at his scouting on Nomad here. Monster CC says I had a secret folder on the school network drive with games in it. No security back in the day. Yeah, so that's basically what Ninja Worm Dan acted. Um, except he was on the like the security team. <laughs> they had the high school students helping with the school network. <laughs> so he was, you know, if there were any changes to the network, you know, because X, Y, or Z student was bypassing it. He was part of the team, dude. So he he knew the changes that were coming and he knew how we could get away with it still. And then also, also, his mom was good friends with the computer lab lady. So we were allowed to sneak into the computer lab and play because she really liked him because of, uh, you know, being friends with his mom. So yeah, dude, we played, we played a lot of games and uh, did not pay attention in school for many other reasons and also that, so. All right, now this this could be an awkward time for Sebastian here. This, like Max's eco is, is flying with 22 fishing ships. He loses his plumes right now, this could be stressful times. Max is coming to escape, to branch out here maybe to take this stone. This castle has to go up here for Sebastian to feel comfortable moving forward. Now, conversion on the night, and suddenly all the siege is dead. So dicey times here for the Max. Nice splits here from Sebastian. He's going to kill the repair vills. Max has accidentally kills a goat. It seems like this castle will go up. Max is on the way to imp with that TC, guys. That is his imp TC. Oh. <laughs> I mean, this is only TC until this one completes. If it completes... The plumes jumping around. They always seem so happy, these plumed archers. But yeah, Dan, we'll have to catch up, man, uh, once I'm home. It's been too long. Yeah, he's one of my buddies from growing up. Dude, I have so many nostalgic stories with video gaming and Ninja Worm Dan Ak. I We used to both get a two-liter bottle of soda for ourselves when we were, like, 15... And who, God knows what else from like the pizza shop or whatever. And we would play Call of Duty all night. So it started like 3 p.m. on a Friday. And we're still drinking that soda. <laughs> and up 8 a.m. the next morning. And there were no consequences for our health. I hope. <laughs> I do that today. I mean, I can't, I can't even drink more than like 12 ounces of soda without feeling awful. But, uh, you know, back then, when you're young, dude, not an issue. Plumed archers ready to feast on the villagers here. The nice thing for Max is he might actually make it to the Imperial Age. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Georgians have a bonus where they take less damage from things, but I think that's only with hills involved. Oh, no, Max! 
He's so focused on the fights, Max. Uh, guys, he might not make it to Imp here. One more shot, and he goes. It goes down. Ninety-nine percent. Max loses the Imperial Age TC. Calls the GG. He actually had no TC at this point. If he had a half a second more, he would be in the Imperial Age, and still dead. But, you know, he can blame it on that. That's always nice, right? Be like, man, if I would have just repaired for a second, I would have been fine. When, you know, in actuality, I think that Sebastian was in a really nice spot here. The thing about the fish boom is that the fish boom starts to run out eventually. And uh, this play from Sebastian, there's still no answer to the plumes at this point from what I can see, right? The plumed archers are going to be really strong, produced out of two castles. The Trebs can take down all of this. But a really fun finish there. And we got to talk through some nostalgic stories as well, which is cool. But yeah, um, I didn't get it. I wasn't back in Age of Empires back then, you know? So maybe maybe Dan and I would be a team or something here. A 22k res collected for Sebastian. Again, I just think he played it amazing. And his start just felt perfect. And if you just look back to the TC spots, he TC'd in an area on wood where there's hunts. Where there's gold, it's right next to a stone. And there's kind of resources every direction he looks. For Max, from what he can see, this is a good TC. He didn't actually know about the berries. So that's really good. Um, but it felt like the lack of stone was an issue. And then the fact that his opponent was pressuring from this angle was eventually a problem. Um, I did want to see what percentage, what percent did that TC go down at? Kind of glossed over that like it wasn't a big deal. Let's let's see how close it was. Huh. Okay, so I don't know if I can get much. Ah, crap! This is really difficult. Okay, that is. Ah, nope. Wait, I think that's as close as I can get it. Ninety-nine point one six percent. I, I'm sure it got up to like 99.2 something, but I can't... Pfft, I, I keep misclicking. Okay, ready? Oh! Nope, it's down. Wait. Nope, it's up. Nope, it's down. Hold on. Wait. Ready? Why don't we just look at it? Yeah, okay, 99.22. That's the easy way to do it. Sorry, YouTube, I screwed up the end of this video. I hope you really enjoyed this Nomad game. We'll hopefully do more Nomad games for you. We had a transport, we had plumes, and we had snow. It was a great time, and, uh, you know, lots of fun content, which is not scuffed uh, coming to you in the future. Thank you.